All right, so if you guys are um, checking out a lot of these YouTube videos on uh, 2023 year tax, it's still 2022, but it's almost time. You know, a couple people have already sent in their turbo taxes and started contacting people, but these videos are leaving things out and I don't want you guys to mess up. So a lot of people on my channel are business owners. If you're a business owner, keep watching also. But if you're just a regular civilian without a business, then this is also for you. I want you to check this out. OK, so when can you start filing your taxes for the 2023 at the end of 2022? So it's pretty much similar. It says tax year 2023 is from January 1st until December 31st. But we already know that the deadline, deadline is going to be around April 18th or whatever. This is the 15th, but it's going to be like April 18th. OK, but check this out. There's a few things, like I said, that you guys are going to need to know for this year so that you don't have the same errors. A lot of people didn't get their money last year. A lot of people had money taken out. A lot of people filed wrong last year. So keep watching, especially if you uh, have a business, even if you don't have a business, though. But check this out. All right. So now where are we at? OK. We're going to come over here just to confirm. It says the same thing over here on this one, too. All right. The table below shows key dates and events for filing uh, federal tax returns with the IRS in the 2022-2023 season. All right. So it's going to say IRS will start accepting and processing tax returns for the upcoming 2023 tax season from late January. And it's going to go to April 18th. You want to get that in there as quick as possible because you know how they do. Last year, uh, their excuse was the scamdemic, you know, and they were slow uh, getting people their money back. And they didn't even like get a lot of people their money back. Like a lot of weird rules came out of nowhere, which allowed them to take uh, <laughs> a lot of people's money. A lot of people were upset because they didn't get what they thought they were going to get back. So check this out. What are the new tax brackets for 2023? Changes to the tax code could save you money. Here's what to know about filing for the 2023 tax year. Watch this. All right, Americans are feeling the pinch from rising prices, but they can make filing taxes a little less painful in the future, okay? Uh, that's because inflation prompted the IRS to raise thresholds. The thresholds have been raised a bit, guys. Now watch this. While such adjustments take place annually under a formula set by Congress, this year's unusually large increases will uh, uh, be welcome news to anyone whose wages have not kept up with significant price increases over the last year. So this is why I said if you don't have a business, keep watching because this is something that will benefit you. OK, now watch this standard deductions for all filing statuses are also getting a boost. All filing statuses are getting a boost. All filing statuses. These let workers reduce their yearly earnings by a preset amount by, uh, before calculating income taxes. All right, many households could see a smaller tax bill by 2024. However, the increase to the standard deduction could mean you no longer need to itemize deductions when you file your taxes. Now, whew, that is awesome, right? It said you no longer need to itemize uh, deductions when you file your taxes, potentially saving you hours of paperwork because who the hell remembers all that stuff or wants to jot down and write down and keep track of all that? Okay, maybe I can get a deduction for this. Maybe I can get a deduction for that. Anyway, so if you guys, um, okay, so here we go. What are the tax brackets? The U.S. taxes income at uh, progressively higher rates as you earn more. Those rates ranging from 10% to 37% will remain the same. So that will remain the same. What's changing though, pay attention, is the amount of income that gets taxed at each rate. So this can be good for some, good for uh, bad for others. Now check this out. For example, in 2023, an unmarried filer with taxable income of 95K would have a top rate of 22%, down from 24% in 2022. So that's decent, right? <laughs> it's not a huge amount, but it's better than that, right? But that shakes out to tax savings of $429, assuming no changes in income between the two years. So that's the little stipulation right there. 
can't have any changes. So here's how the math works. The first 11,000 of income will be taxed at 10%. The next will be taxed at 33K um, around, uh, um, the next 33K will be taxed around 12%. The last 50K will be taxed at 22%. So that is, uh, you know, confusing to you guys. You know, you can just take your time on this site right here. Then you can check out the other deductions. I'm not going to keep you long. But also, did you guys know that they still have the IRC going for business owners? That's what I wanted you to know. Did you know you can still get, I think what is like 25K uh, for each taxable employee that you have on staff? So, you know, that's why I wanted you to stay around, guys, because you can still, you know, benefit from this tax season right here. So when should you start filing if I were you? 2023 is approaching us rapidly. I'm getting older and it sucks, right? But I'm blessed though. But you should start filing ASAP. We are mid-December already. Well, past mid. This is crazy as hell. Like it just flew right through from October, right? So you should be already preparing everything so that you can get your stuff smooth and no problems this year. You can check out the new tax brackets, see the deduction uh, uh, stipulations and conditions and all of that stuff. See what you qualify for, all of that. If you own a business, guys, most of you guys watching this channel right now are business owners. Even if that's online business, you can qualify for a lot of good um, you know, benefits this tax season. So do your own research, man. And... Uh, Subscribe to the tribe if you're new. Love you guys. See you in the next one.